Hi, I'm Father Jim Martin, uh, author of My Life with the Saints and associate editor of America Magazine. We've been talking about different ways to pray, and I'd like to talk about a popular Catholic way to pray uh, called the Rosary. Now, a lot of people uh, sometimes dismiss the Rosary or belittle it as a kind of lower way of praying, but I always like to think of what my spiritual director told me, uh, which was that uh, he was asking his mother once, what happens when you pray the Rosary? And she said, I look at God and God looks at me. So the rosary can be a really important way to pray. Uh, this is my rosary from uh, my first Holy Communion. You can see it's like a little uh, boy's rosary. Uh, and this is the one I like to use now, uh, which I got in Lourdes, uh, the French shrine, a few years ago. Uh, basically, there's lots of different ways of doing the rosary, so please don't write in and say, uh, <laughs> I'm doing it wrong. Um, uh, normally, uh, you start with the Apostles' Creed on the little crucifix, uh, then you do an Our Father for the big bead, and then three Hail Marys for the small bead, and then a Glory Be to the Father uh, for this other big bead. And then you start these, uh, what are called decades, that's ten, um, uh, Hail Marys, uh, then you end with a Glory Be, and then you do an Our Father for the big beads, and then you just keep doing it around. Uh, you know, ten Hail Marys, one Our Father, ten Hail Marys, one Our Father. Uh, now, each of those Hail Marys uh, has what's called a mystery attached to it. Uh, there are the glorious mysteries, the joyful mysteries, the sorrowful mysteries, and then John Paul just added the luminous mysteries. And there's different mysteries, um, basically events from Mary's life for the glorious, joyful, and sorrowful, and events from Jesus' life that you can pray about um, when you are uh, doing your decades of the rosary. I would advise you to go online and find out what those mysteries are because if I told you all of them, first of all, I can't remember them all. I have to look and check um, each day. Uh, it, it would take probably the, uh, the whole video. So basically, um, there's a couple ways of doing the rosary. Um, first of all, you can use it almost as a mantra uh, to sort of get in touch with God. Uh, as my friend's mother said, uh, God looks at me uh, and I look at God. And so it's just sort of a calming effect that can uh, center you in a way, almost like a mantra. Uh, another way is really to think carefully about the mysteries, um, to meditate on these aspects of uh, Mary's life and Jesus' life uh, when you're saying the rosary. And this way you can kind of imagine yourself uh, in the scene. We talked about Ignatian contemplation that way. Um, my way of doing the rosary is a little different. I actually, um, it's my little secret, I do the, uh, the Nicene Creed, which is what we say uh, at church because I can never remember the Apostles' Creed. Uh, I leave out the uh, glory be, as I know that's kind of heretical. Uh, and I know some people like to end with a Hail Holy Queen. I've also heard that there's a, a prayer to St. Michael, which I don't know either. So my way of doing the rosary um, is basically to do it almost like a mantra, to use it to have something physical, uh, to calm me down, to focus on, um, on the prayers, and to really get in touch with God uh, in my deepest uh, center. I also like to use it uh, as intercessory prayer. Um, I will usually pray a rosary for somebody or for a special intention. And one last thing about the rosary that I really like, someone told me a few years ago, uh, you know the Hail Mary prayer. Uh, there's a part in the Hail Mary prayer where we say, we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Now normally we say, pray for us sinners. A friend of mine says when she does the rosary, she says, pray for, and she'll put in a person's name, pray for my mother, uh, pray for my father, pray for my husband, my children. And with each uh, bead on the rosary, each Hail Mary, she prays for a new person. So the rosary, I think, is a very powerful and very ancient way uh, of praying um, uh, for Catholics. And I think it's a, it's a wonderful way that needs to be rediscovered. And um, if you uh, try it all the time, maybe you could try new ways that I talked about. If you've never tried it um, or think it might be a little too old-fashioned, you might see it uh, as a new way to get in touch with God.